we are back and working on our runs a little bit. So I watched the footage of the run from yesterday, um, had, had a few conversations with some, some players I know. Um, and I think I have a bad habit of being too picky on my early game bros. Um, so we're going to, we're going to make an adjustment there. Um, we're going to try and, and start off being a little bit more aggressive. Um, I think think I've gotten into that habit because I've been running a lot of glads, a lot of raiders. And so, and, and I do believe raiders, once you know this origin, is easier as a start than new company. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to fire up a run. We're going to try and play as clean as possible. Um, we're going to be as aggressive as possible and see if that, that helps us out a little bit. Sound good, everybody? Sounds good to me. All right, let's do it. Random crisis. Expert. Low expert. Here's my Iron Man disclaimer. Um, we play Iron Man rules. We just don't um, we don't check it so that any of our quality of life mods um, don't corrupt our save file. We don't play with any mods that change the game. No tryout mod, nothing like that. But um, you you will lose your save to like speed up mods and that type of thing for combat. So. Let's run it. These are fine. So right now I'm looking to see it, what my, trying to figure out what my early game loop is. Looking for hunter's cabins, considering whether or not I'm gonna raid, checking resource buildings, looking for workshops, particularly workshops in small towns for cheap tools. Now, you don't have to have hunter's cabins to get hunters to spawn in uh, forest towns. Um, it's just a significantly increased chance. But if a village is labeled as a forest town, um, it, ha it does have a very high chance to spawn, um, to spawn hunters anyway. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, for contracts, find the thing. It's probably our first quest. This is a camp. Um, this is a low tier camp. Mossy shelter, that means it's a shack. That means it's thugs. That's very interesting. This is secure. So we have two brigand fights and a find the thing fight uh, quest um but we don't have recruits in this town which is which is a thing right so let's see what we got we're gonna do this quest just off the off the bat we're gonna do this um it's to the west it's saying dead west 
And the region is Bald Crown. Bald Crown, so it's probably in here somewhere, back the way we came. I do want to do those fights, but the low recruit pool is kind of a problem. Making a little money early helps with that. If I can get a foot on this. Nope. So I'm pretty southwest, so it's probably right up here somewhere. Would be my guess. I'll pay the 30 crowns. The hills north east. So it's right. It's It was literally dead west. That's fine. Well, what I'll do since I'm here is I'll check for recruits. Because we know we're not getting anything from here. Ninety gold, instant hire. One hundred and fifty, instant hire. We're not looking for rock stars here, right? Two hundred twenty gold, instant hire. Oh, wow. Um, he is asthmatic. How do I feel about that? I probably don't care. Hey, what up, Shadow Rush? How's everything going? How you been? This guy's interesting, right? Um, that's six. Let's look at gear. There's a spear, I like it. Danger, oh yeah, hey. We've had an account change since the old days. That's what's up. How you been? Obviously, I'm not on a LOR these days. If you couldn't tell. That has quite a quite a few people upset, but I just haven't been feeling it. So I'm doing some other stuff. But yeah, thank you for, for stopping by. I appreciate it. What are you playing these days? some fodder. I'll take it. Okay. That's what's up. How's the uh, content creating been going? It's like always a uh, it's always a uh, a thing. 
No, I felt like so maybe I saw you as um I saw you as danger and didn't know it was you then. Cause I definitely like East over the hills, okay. I was literally right there. What is this? Nachos? We don't have weapons yet. <laughs> We're gonna come up here. Still recruiting. Ninety gold. We hire. We have seven. Getting spears. These hats are expensive. We'll, we'll buy them. All right, we've got seven, so we should outnumber the seven thug contract. So we're probably gonna do the clear the location contract first. Um, so that gives us access to actually buy stuff in this town because stuff's overpriced. Let me know, Shadow. This is seven thugs, should be. Eight thugs, wow. <laughs> they couldn't let me have the, the upper hand, huh? Guys will die in this fight. We like actually don't care about or respect like any of them, so it's okay. in a t-shirt so stabs are fine with no headgear nice spear wall let's resolve this Let's do something about, I don't like stepping into three here. Let's wait and see how bottom plays out. Okay, he came to us. Semi back. Ah. 
Okay. Just trying to do something to reduce incoming attacks. playing it I I don't know I just haven't I haven't enjoyed the game for a while so you know I kind of got off of it I found myself really enjoying a lot of single player stuff actually believe it or not as competitive as I am you know but one in the chamber that's a miss Some weird sins with the ray. What up, sins? So we're we're trying another run, trying to be less picky on bros. Um, I will say it feels much better when you have like 90 gold guys dying, right? Instead of like 220 gold di guys dying, it's like much easier to trade bros for value. But yeah, welcome guys to the stream working on Battle Brothers, trying to get better. Y'all know the deal. <laughs> 90 gold guys with dumpy stars, y'all. What up, Tutu Fei? If I said that right. That was like my best guess. Sin's voice sounds different. What up, Slug? How's everything going? I don't want my food to get away. Come here, boy. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Um, if you, you're a fan of Sin's play, um, I play very similar. Um, I'm like Sin's when he was still learning the game versus where he's at now. Um, so I'm I'm like progressing in a very similar direction. Like I got one monkey off my back, which was beating Monolith on stream. And now it's like, okay, now I need to show that I can do it consistently, which is like a whole different kind of pressure. Because at first I was like, okay, I gotta beat Monolith on stream. I gotta show people the, that I can do it, right? And now it's like, yeah, but like, can you only do it every one in five runs? You know what I mean? Um, Slug, uh, this this new run just started off. This was our first, um, this, this fight was actually our first fight of this run. Um, and not bad. We're just working on being less less picky, man. That's like the the big thing. And I know better, but I think playing so much glads, I like forgot that. You know what I mean? Like I think I like like starting with you know three strong bros. I kind of forgot the mentality of like sometimes you gotta sometimes you just gotta make zerglings and grind it out. You know what I mean? The daggers are real nice, right? Like, shout out to the tier, the high tier daggers. What up, Victoire, the Chad, the Chadlet. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. The real challenge is I'm trying to say everybody's name right, and I'm determined. My grandmama was an English teacher. But yeah. Hey, I'm doing well. Um... You know, we're just, just trying to get better. So this, like, again, this guy, straight up Zergling, just like. Uh, 
I need him to be able to hit stuff, and I need him to be able to hit stuff right now. You know what I mean? And like new company origin, out of your starting bros, you have, you basically have two two real bros. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna retro uh, refit the Discord to. Uh, I'm gonna refit the Discord to uh, for and I'll start doing content for this game on it. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I'm good at the game and I still suck. Like the game's hard. Any idea how the game runs on Switch? No. I got off of consoles a while back, um, so I couldn't tell you, unfortunately. Um, that's a lie. I've heard that it's not. It's not. It's not bad. That's what I've heard. Not from experience, though. So take that it. You know. Take that as you will. Um, this is secure tomb. This is liver package. We'll heal and walk. That's fine. Well, there you go. Slug has the answer. Ooh. The farthest I got with the cultists on day seven was with the was with the cultists on day 17 ish. Give it a, give it or take. Well, if you're learning the game, cultist is a really bad origin to do that on. Um, cultists are, are more of a gimmick than anything else. Um, I can fight this. I just have pretty scuffed armor, right? Um, we're probably going to run, run more shields for this. Like guys don't have dodge yet. So we're probably running more shields. Let's repair this. <sighs> Am I fighting five nachos and a tier? I just don't want to get shredded and a tier, um, trigger some OCD. I mean, yeah, we just, it's, we're a little injured, but we don't have dodge. And it's, and it's also like, it should be okay, but do I take the risk kind of thing? Oh, almost misclicked there. Shoot. We're actually going to back up. One, two, three. Yeah, we're going to back up. Down bottom's probably in trouble. But yeah. There's no tier two here, which is pretty good for us, right? They're gonna act first. I'm gonna have to step on step on bone on because I have to control these corpses.
That boy wanted a snack and died for it. That is correct. But but sometimes you, we we've all been that hungry before. Look, I've I made some White Castle trips in college, okay, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. Um, I probably zone this guy now. We'll see. Crystals or White Castle. Um, I traveled a lot. I've done I've done both. I I really don't want to step with this bro. He gets hit like once and he's dead, right? That feels in this feels incorrect, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. No deaths. Of course we're running them down. Alright. A crossbow's better than bows. Um yes. <laughs> Straight up, yes. Um, if you're new to the game and you start looking for videos and stuff on YouTube, and I try to caution new players about this, there there have been a lot of changes to the game. The game's been out for five years, over five years. Um, and there was a whole bunch of content created in about the first two years of the game's existence. There have been a lot of things that have been changed, patched out, nerfed into the ground. Um, so bows used to be the meta, like bows used to be, I had the game around that time when it first came out, bows used to just be so incredible. So if you watch a video from like five years ago, it's going to tell you the first thing you do is go higher, go higher range bros. So you can snipe necros, right? So you can snipe necromancers. That was before the necromancers had guards in front of them with shields. That was also, also back then, the Necromancer was three tiles closer to you. So like, like, but in general, bows like got patched out of the game because of AI changes. They also had a damage nerf, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I know that the AI changes were huge. Um, I have a video up um of an orc fight that i did earlier that i highlighted um i used a lot of throwing weapons take a look at what those did in that fight and after you do you'll never use bows again this guy's a zergling who needs resolve but whatever this guy is a companion he might be a dodge quick hands Um, he needs a resolve roll. I can take that here. This guy is going to be a hybrid. All right, so what are we doing with these guys? Um, this guy's nimble tank, if he lives. If he lives, he's a nimble tank. Uh, this guy, Zerg. This guy, Zerg. This guy, um, he, he can't even be a Zergling. Like he, he just has to be a fodder tank. So these are like, so when you see me type something like Zergling, uh, you see me type something like like uh, Zergling or like Fodder Tank, these are like tier zero builds. These are guys that are definitely bad. They should all be dead before, dead or dismissed before day zero, or day zero, before day 30. They should all be dead or dismissed. Wow, 
like that's how that works um nomads that's six cutthroats we're a little banged up aren't we we are a little banged up I don't know how I feel about that. Like they're cutthroats, but I also don't want to lose. I guess the only guy I really care about not losing is this guy, right? And then Zerglings can just Zerg. Like that's, that's fine. That's what Zerglings are for. Like, why am I trying to keep Zerglings alive? Um, in this fight, plus accuracy weapon, super dangerous, plus accuracy weapon, plus accuracy weapon with a shield. This is going to be a back two fight. Easily. Probably needs to be spear walling while I'm backing up. Because their their initiative is pretty high. I have a this guy's pretty light armor too. Doesn't matter, we miss. Um, we're gonna set up to kill this guy. Also shield wall him. It's also shield wall him. I'm gonna head out for the night. Nice to see you again, Blue. You can find me on Discord too. Hey, thanks, man. Um, I'll hit you up. Definitely, if I get back in any of the CCGs, I want to talk to you, figure out what the heck's going on. <laughs> like, cause I have no idea. Like. Mad Wheels, if you remember him, like tried to help me get back in and I just I just couldn't keep up. Like I didn't know what was going on. That miss is awful. Guys are gonna die this fight, by the way. Just wanna go on the record. Yep. I said it before it happened. Split hand is great there. Yeah. Nomads are so much tougher than thugs. N Nomads are just like significantly tougher than thugs. This is a wipe. Hit through shield, split hand through shield, but but I try not to blame RNG, right? So like the correct answer is, is I don't take the nomad fight. I'm not at full health. I have damaged armor. I don't have a significant advantage, and my range guy doesn't have throwing weapons yet, right? So I I the same thing that I encourage other other players to do, I try to do myself, and that's avoid blaming RNG. 
like so I think like nomads are a different they're like well they're they're balanced around gladiator origin right so like the easiest way to win is glads right so like our our last very good run right the very first thing i did was get out of the south right because the south is balanced around that origin Let you play in an unconventional way. That's cool. Hey, if you're having fun, don't don't let me advise you otherwise. I'm all about having fun. South has better rewards. Really? You have to explain that, Brit. What in the South? Better gear drops? The trade income, I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept that, that conversation. Like, there's a clear content break, right? This is Follow the Tracks. This is uh, Seven Thugs. Again, we don't really have recruits here, right? Like, we have one, two, three, four. We have four, which gets us to seven. But do we have gear for them? Kind of. Feels medium. What else do we have? That's a camp. This is a caravan. Hire this thief and see how we feel. Um, great defense role on this thief, huh? Scrubs. Straight fodder. This flagellant is expensive, but he has a weapon. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Flagellant's pretty good. Um, yeah, he could be an early banner. <sighs> he could be an early banner. Um, let's look at gear. I'm, I'm probably doing the caravan first, guys, which is why I'm, I'm just buying gear at this point. Everything else is pretty expensive here, uh, but I do have a guy who needs a hat pretty badly. Yeah, if he's gonna, if his primary weapon is gonna be the flagpole for the entire game, you're happy with him, right? And like, he has a whip so he can disarm things. But you, you've seen my banner, right? Like, I make a thrower banner. 
and my throw banner typically has more kills than any frontliner on the team. He is 40 with the star, right? He is 40 with the star, which is a thing. So if I make him, if I make him, if I commit to that now, he's 75, um, 75 rat before gifted. He could work, he could work as a thrower banner. He, I can see him working as a thrower banner. I'm, I'm with it. I, I see, I see where you're coming from because so like you look at this guy. This is, um, and then and yeah, you're still in my thunder sins. You're still in my thunder, like 75, 78 after gifted fa. Like he's serviceable, right? And he actually has melee attack, so he he will when we get the flagpole, he's gonna smack with it, right? Like he has like sixty two melee attack, so he's gonna smack some thugs and raiders early. I, I can get behind that. I'm not I'm not opposed to that. Um, here's some fodder. Here we go. See what we have for weapons. Who's the cheapest? Then what a miners roll. Miners roll really well early too. Maybe I should have bought a miner instead of that guy. He's the cheapest miner. Oh my. He's greedy, but I don't, I don't care. This guy's fodder. This guy's fine. This guy's also fine. Okay, this will work. Gear is a thing now. What do I look like on... I need clothes for guys is where I'm at right now. And I do want that spear, but I'm not gonna be able to get it. Cudgel's an efficient purchase, it is. But I also need hats for guys. Or maybe I just don't maybe I just don't care about the hats and I run it. Like I'm more concerned about hats at this point. Because you'll get headshotted and just die. Where am I on pay? Three days of pay. Two days of pay. And then we just don't give the fodder a hat, right? Okay, this 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 will work for now. The big problem is I don't have a quest here, so I have to go here and take whatever the game gives me. Is like the the real the real crime here.
patrols where y'all at caravans I'm telling you guys when you get broke caravans start looking real good Rundown Cottage, so it's a tier one camp. Like it's a thug, thug mansion. Going in a day is cool. It looks like I have another fight I can take up here. Whoa. What? <laughs> One skull contract. Ah, uh, God. That feels pretty bad. Like these raiders will shred us if we fight them here. This is so. Worst case, this is si this is nine. Like, I guess we, I guess we check it and see what's in here, right? Like we check it and if it's like four and two and the two have crappy weapons, maybe. Yeah, this is a, a terrible, this is, this is like first fight. Apologize for what sounds like a racetrack behind my, my uh, office here. Um. Let's see. Sins, what are your thoughts on this? How would you evaluate this? I don't I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This is this is first fight. take a peek like you check it right because they could also be like they could also be lower raiders in 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 a 50 male um so it's three it's three raiders um well you just retreat right so it's three raiders and three thugs right this is doable um this is doable. I just have to be very careful. So let's wait. If a raider pulls out throwing weapons, I'm gonna book it out of here. No, I'm gonna take it. This is this is doable. I just have to be careful. No throwing weapons. It's it's definitely spooky. Well, this, the, I mean, I don't, I also don't have great armor, right? I'm, uh, yeah, I, I see the line with the, uh, with Wall Boy and the Do-Rag, right? They shouldn't step right at me. Um, what's this guy's stats? All right. You understand the assignment? Good luck. See, unlike Sins, I'm not above using runners. <laughs> that's, that's the difference. And I want you to come forward.
This is fine. His armor is almost shredded. Nope, didn't get it. Come on. Come on. This is a little suspect. Got one headshot. Live well, runner. Live well. You'll be missed. Oh, wow. He still had AP. I should have checked. That's on me. The real fight's gonna be over here. <laughs> Even the flash is gonna die? Probably. These things happen. This is the problem here. This guy has to take a hit for this guy, so this guy has a chance to not die, right? Tried it. It's unfortunate. No, it's not dagger time. He's got an axe and he's not breaking. He's going to he's going to kill guys. Like this guy's going to die. <laughs> like no, absolutely not. Like absolutely not dagger time. It's hurry up and kill this guy time. Like no. I mean, the fodder, we don't care about. This guy, you know, it is what it is. Um, but also, I'm I'm okay with that, right? Like, I'm, I'm more than okay with that.
yeah, like guys are gonna die. Early early game, max difficulty, guys are gonna die. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like We just don't care about it. Um Guy who died was our bad companion. He was our good companion. That hurts. I mean, good is relative. The companions aren't like anything particularly special. Plus accuracy weapon. Um. This is kind of like a plus accuracy weapon, right? Actually, I'm gonna put that over here. So these two should be functional. This guy still needs a spear. This guy needs a spear. Um, we have a hat upgrade. I don't like the farmer hat. I literally try to stop using it as soon as possible. It's a style choice. Um, and then Guy with the shield to go into bad spots. Pocket shield if you get in trouble. Pocket shield if you get in trouble. Pocket buckler if you get in trouble. Knife. 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 Okay. That's that's fine. <laughs> Total apathy over casualties. Exactly. You get me. You under. You understand. Um, looking for fodder. Probably not hiring right this second because there's no contract here. Um, so where do we want to play at? This is a tier three city. This is a city. Like I think our loop is probably down here somewhere. Like that's probably that's probably fine. We're not we're not ready for Barb Country yet. Also, there's a tier. Th oh, that's Citadel. All right, let's head back. There was a location we found somewhere, right? No. Did I did I imagine it? I must have dreamt it up. That's fine. Man, these caravans are starting to look real tasty, guys. Starting to look look real good. I just I just want you to know. That I, I have I have issues with just watching watching loot wagons walk by me from my numerous raider runs. All right, there is a location, right? It was, we did something over here, right? Am I, I'm losing it. <laughs> I'm like actually losing it. All right, Um. there's a monk. These are thug fights, right? This is seven thugs. I'm probably capable of seven thugs with this with this loadout now, right? Like it's probably not a big it's probably not a big deal. Cheap monk. Um if he develops, he'll actually be reasonable, right? Like, if we let this develop a little bit. Um, I'm looking for... Yep, this is what we want right here. And also... Um, am I investing in another spear? 
I probably don't need it. Probably don't need it. <sighs> okay. This is all fine. Um, I need to buy overpriced tools anyway. Alright. Let's follow these tracks. Oh, they want it. Back to... I actually don't need the spear wall. They're going to stop short of us. Back to... Um, I want the 70 male, and he's not wearing a hat. See how bottom plays out before I do anything. That's unfortunate. Wow. Headshot and a concussion or a broken nose instantly. That's that's impressive. That's that's probably greedy of me. Let's try and get 70 mil. Yeah, it's definitely greedy. Game Battle Brothers. Sometimes you just miss every attack. <laughs> sometimes in your first fight, sometimes in your first fights, you just miss every attack and die. That ha that does happen. Like,
yeah, like sometimes that happens. We don't have fast adaptation on guys yet, which is a thing. But it's fine. Three HP hero, yeah, that happened too. Like you can't cry about bad luck when you get good luck, right? Because how many, this guy, how many attacks did he dodge in the end there? That's why we try to have perspective. That was super lucky. Omega power, <laughs> 10,000, yes. I can acknowledge the luck. That was like extreme luck, right? So like, you know, <laughs> RNG Jesus, thank you. You, I, I I see I see you got me on that one um yeah we're just like gonna put another spear on our guys because we can't hit anything I, that's how we're gonna handle that and then we're gonna find a way to uh to heal preferably like a caravan or something. Wow, his HP is bad. <laughs> his HP is super bad. But yeah, I agree. Also, welcome to the channel, Omega. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate the uh, the chat. <laughs> um, let's see. This is fine. What do you have for quests? No, I don't trust you. Um, I'm nine lives is a good perk. Um, but like. It's tough because when you call something a good perk, like people are very like either or, like it's absolutely or it's never. So when you say something's good, people are like, so this is always what you should be doing. It's like, no, no, no. Like situation dictates, right? It's like, I have a guy who like, he pro that guy probably gets Colossus too, but giving him Colossus now, like he's gonna need quite a few HP levels to be able to survive fights. Um, for a while, you know what I mean? This is cargo delivery, sure. We can do that while we heal. Yeah, nine nine lives is is it's good and it's good at all stages of the game too. People are like, why do you need nine lives for, for late game? And it's like, you've never you've never had a level 11 bro in Battleforge armor get hit with a chosen axe. That'll that'll change your 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 thoughts real quick. Like that guy is not invincible. And the later you go, the more things you fight that like will just hit will just kill your guy. Heck, you can have a mid game guy with like 80 HP, 80 to a, to 90 HP. And like, he gets hit with a reaver mace twice. He's on death's door, he's on death's door. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, exactly, exactly my point. Uh, we need bros. This town is just not doing doing great, huh? Secure get grandfather's tomb. So this is like nachos or fallen hero with max roll fame two handed mace. Yeah, that'll do it. Um, so this is raiders or nachos. Do I have another spear somewhere? For nachos, we take a sword out. This guy's still injured. But it's fine. We just need we need bodies. Like I need to wait till daytime and try and hire somebody. 
I'll do that quest. Like, I'll do it, but... There's no one to hire. This town sucks. All right. Um. So what is it like? Six nachos, maybe. It also, could be wider gangers. I guess we check it out, right? This looks like it's either regular zombies, nachos, or or um, brigands. Okay, so this is thugs. So it's probably like eight thugs. Um, we're we're banged up, man. Which is like a concern. Like I could I could run the play like this, right? Like this is how I'm supposed to play this. Swap their stuff around. He doesn't need the shield. Aren't a bunch of actual grave robber backgrounds. Their stats would be too low. <laughs> Is the answer there? Like their stats would just be too low. Um, this looks fine, right, guys? Pocket shields, knives. We're not gonna get ourselves caught up trying to dagger anything. We're just gonna we're just gonna run at it. This should be fine. Famous last words. So they have, so this hurts if it hits us. This hurts if it hits somebody in the head. Um, but all their real weapons are south. I know, right? Like, devs, please. My shield. Ow. This is significantly easier, right? Like, who thought that, like, four thugs, three raiders, early game like that would be balanced? You know what I mean? Like who who's like, yeah, we'll we'll make the game that way. The sound they make when you when you hit them is kind of kind of funny. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Plus accuracy weapon. We have like body armor floating around because we have body armor on a backliner. 
slowly clawing our way out, out, out of it, right? Levels. We just like let this guy develop. He actually ends up serviceable, right? Like that's 79 before gifted. We just need to hire. Keep running contracts. Do I have a workshop somewhere where I can not pay 270 for tools? No? Okay. Um, I always make money off of this. And this is reasonably cheap ammo. All right, let's push back to where you want to be playing at. I also think we have, there's a scripted ambush somewhere around here. I saw, I saw um, raiders like on the way up here, but we were still hurt. So I didn't like investigate it, but something shot out this way when we hit the woods. So th somewhere in here is a scripted ambush. So we'll we'll farm that for fights when the opportunity presents itself. Ah, oh, these caravans are starting to look so tasty. Web next. I'm gonna get credit for a beast fight. That's what I'm gonna do here. That's nice. We're set up on high ground. Right next to the spawner. Got him. I think th there's legitimately like an extra loot drop if you get that thing too. Not sure though. Might be like web valuables or something. Caravan guards are, are faring too well, <laughs> is what it sounds like to me. Like, I might be wrong about that. Oh, never mind. Never mind. They, they got it under control. Get the kill before they run.
That should be in the fight. I think they're all running. Okay, it's over. Got a level out of it. No loot, but that's fine. It counts. It also counts towards our retinue, right? Which is like fine. Yeah, I was I was watching some of the. I went to go eat with my wife a little bit earlier. I saw some of the pit game actually. It looked it looked pretty good. Um, what is this way? There's like two towns like off in the cut over here. Well, this is, that's a citadel, so it's kind of whatever. Taking a peek into the fog. That's that's a a no go. We need bros pretty badly. This is still clear the thing. Headcutter's Nest. Headcutter's Nest. I mean, that's a 90 gold bro right there. We'll check it. If it's awful, we won't do it. What do I have in inventory? I have enough gear for, for a guy. 90 gold, let's go. So like people hate day tailors. Day tailors are like super vanilla backgrounds. Um and they're cheap. So like early when you just need scrubs, like you, like if you compare them to your other like 80 and 90 gold backgrounds, like it's it's hard to be it's hard to beat them. You know? This guy is perfectly serviceable. A refugee. Why do you like refugees over daytailers? Yes. <laughs> it is it is very nice. Um, these flails might be coming on. If it's not thugs, or I'm sorry, if it's thugs, we're definitely using spears. Um, if it's raiders, we'll consider the flails. Oh, we do need to buy a, a tick of food though. Yeah, you don't need eight wiki pages open anymore. Yeah, that's that's the truth. Oh, let's make this money. Knives on people. Yeah, no, I, I definitely love those. Um, okay. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Tone step has fortifications. No marksman, please. Thugs. Wow. I'm shocked that that's thugs. Um. Okay. Yeah, I mean we're 100% just running this.
I have questions. How did thugs get such a nice base? You know what I mean? Everybody's going, he's going here, he's going here. That's fine. still literally just never step on this tile, right? Like, there's absolutely no reason for me to. Wow. They did not move how I was expecting them to move. So now I have a guy in a dead man's tile. That's, that's pretty unfortunate. Hit that guy. The the tout oh the tattoo fay. Uh, appreciate the follow. Thank you. Um, so let's see. Where do we need to... This guy needs help right here. This is like our brand new guy. Um, but he has an action. So I think we're helping up here. Ow. Okay. 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 Seems good. But yeah, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it, man. I love playing this game and I love being able to talk to people about the theories and work on stuff and hopefully everybody's getting better and I just enjoy it. So thank you. Um, let's see. So this is Nine Lives Bro. We are gonna get him caught up on HP. I guess we, we opted to not make him our banner. I didn't realize that that's who this was in the front line. Maybe I would've took a different line, but also 70 mat. Like also he has 70 mat.
getting guys to a place where they can actually hit things is, is so good. It's just, it's so incredible. Alright, that's great. That's a good fight. Still need bros, but we're getting there. Just making whatever we get work. Might replay it for a bit soon. Hey, I love it, man. I, I played this game when it first came out and I played hard for like a year. Back when uh, Northern Quarter was streaming this game super heavy, I got into it. Um, if anybody who knows who that is. Um, and then I kind of got away from it. Like I started playing more card games. Um, no cap, this is Militia that has gear. So he might get bought. We actually want his stuff. Like, like we actually want his his equipment, so <laughs> then I saw bank statement. Hard fact. I'm actually developing a game now, uh, developing a card game now that I'll be releasing um, next year, early next year, and. That was one of my things was like, we're going to make a legacy car game and not bankrupt people. No loot boxes, none of that stuff. Like, because booster packs are loot boxes to all my card game players out there. Like, they are loot boxes. <laughs> like, don't be fooled. They're just pretty loot boxes. Um, can I afford this militia is the question. My pay, my pay is super low. I think I buy them. He's expensive, but he also like has gear already is what I'm looking at. Maybe I'm being too picky. There's also a 330 peddler here. And that gives me somebody to hold a shield on the flank. And then this guy can do something else, right? So I'm probably I'm probably still not looking for that high quality, right? I don't know. I'm I want him. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't regret my choices at all. <laughs> I re I regret nothing. Yeah. Eternal, Eternal, I, I saw it and I just didn't have a chance to get into it. But Eternal looked pretty dope too. Um, Frontliner gets better armor. No more farmer's hats. We are out of farmer tier gear. That's what's up. Knife, pocket shield. Okay. I'm good with this. Okay. Let's try and play like in here. We just have to be careful about nomads coming up. Like nomads are, are big spooky right now, right? Um, we could play north looking for a lot of fights. It's just... I, I'm until guys have Colossus at least thralls with throwing weapons are like, you know, kind of bad. Ruins of Blackheat Watch seventy. This is gonna be like some uphill into marksman stuff, isn't it? I'm gonna do it, but I don't like it. <laughs> Ninety gold day Taylor there. He gets bought when we get back. It's on step. That's a that at least is a good sign. Now let's see what it is. It's thugs. Uh, 
Um, am I posting up on this high ground here? Let's see how they move. Um, yeah, I'm gonna post up on high ground. I guess I'm okay leaving that gap there. Like, if they shoot whoever, if one of them tries to shoot that gap, they, it just dies, right? He needs to step because something steps through here. Actually, that's like baiting an attack, right? I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. He reloads, so he has one in the chamber. Because something jumps, yep. Um, is this a kill if I step here? It is, right? This hasn't acted. Top is a little concerning. That's bad. Keeping guys off the, the edges of your formation is such a pain early game. in the chamber. Nope. I tried it. He waits. He finishes this off. High ground, just work this guy. This guy down here is like super obnoxious. He, he's tying up like three dudes. Uh, okay. Okay. This guy only has a club. 
the sword is a little off-putting up here. Like the sword on high ground right there is, is super dangerous. You're done. And yeah, you're done. Ow. Um, his, his armor's done. We still probably got it though. The asynchronous drafting in Eternal was neat there. The pack I opened is kind of like blockchain. It would save the packs I opened to give to the next player. The drafting would still get singles and all that. Yet still be able to do do on own time. Maybe first few were bots to, to see the system, but then players took over to feed past packs. That's dope. That's super dope. Yeah, it's a good though fight. No complaints there. We got armor. Got plus accuracy weapons. That's always nice. Um, these guys on the flanks are just gonna probably I mean we're gonna develop this guy right I guess it doesn't matter last resolve roll This guy needs resolve pretty terribly too. Like he needs resolve, he needs stamina, he needs a lot. I mean, he's a 90 gold day, day tailor. What do you want? What do you expect from him, chat? I don't expect much. Okay, uh, 70 mil. Somebody's getting a 40 hat as well. It's probably, this is probably getting hold, held for a minute. Okay, cool. Good fight. Not mad at it. We said we were going to hire this 90 gold day tailor. Man, is he terrible. All right. So. Who are our worst bros? Uh, do I have a butter knife to give this guy somewhere? Surely I do. Yeah, I do. And you get to be the sacrifice. Um, this looks fine. It's actually probably something like this, because this guy's higher level. So that's fine. Okay. Cool. All right. This is a town we can get quests from. This is a, a city we can get quests from. So let's check the city first. I haven't seen very many brick and patrols this run. Yeah, just haven't seen very many patrols this run. That's cool. There's another flagellant. There's an apprentice. There's some stuff here. Package delivery. Package delivery to where? Day Northwest. Okay. What do we have for gear? Oh God, there's a leather tanner here, guys. Let 
I'm a sucker for some leather. That's one way to get to Raider Tier Gear. Northwest. Yeah, I, I love le so leather tanners are like a forgotten building in this game. Also, we're gonna start raiding, guys. Hugh Waller, we're, we're getting ready to aggro a faction, like like real quick. I can't aggro a faction while I'm on contract, but we're like, there's no patrols. So the caravans are just cr like funneling down here like crazy. Like I've seen so many wagons from like all the way up here. So we're, we're definitely about to start raining. Secure tomb, sure. That should scale this down to something I can manage. So yeah, so we're we're gonna start hitting wagons. Raiders, everybody got knives. Um, this is raiders, right? So we're gonna put flails on a couple guys. as well, um, which means he gets a plus accuracy weapon. Um, yeah, this works. And does everybody have a knife? Okay, we're gonna dagger as much as we can here, but we have to, we have to see how dangerous they are first. They're pretty dangerous. Oh, wow. They didn't. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. And he dropped the tier three flail. Ah, okay. That said, this is also this fight is also like super scary, right? Like this hook blade is a, a real thing. Like this hook blade is a, a, a real weapon and we have to treat it as such. throwing weapons. Split hand, that's great. We need all the help we can get with that. try and just like naked dagger a guy um i want to see how this part of the fight goes 
and I want to make sure I'm good on where they move to. Like, I want to see where this guy goes. Okay. Um, I'm not going to mess around with this axe. At all. move help this way as long as this hook blade goes down oh it did not die that's unfortunate daggers down here, unfortunately. We're probably just killing this guy so that he doesn't kill this guy right here. Um, I do have daggers down here. Okay. one down this one's covered cool good fight good fight four like this is a three or four armor fight helms or whatever because helms have a 40 percent reduced drop chance so even if you dagger something with a perfect helm sometimes it just won't drop oh come on all right not bad um three wow wow <laughs> So like every run, there's like a, a brigand fight that like turns your run, right? Where you're just like, yep, now we have a run, right? Like, I don't know if other people have experienced this where there's like that, that first really good raider fight and it like turns your, yeah. The flails woke Brit up, Brit knows what's up. Like these things are, are monstrous. We also got throwing weapons, by the way. Upgrades? Uh, 
Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, the first big raider fight is such a turning point for a run. Yeah, it's 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 the the best feeling in this game is that that turning point fight. We're just like, yep. We're we're in there. All right. Um, this guy's seventy. Matt Falcion is fine. Fifty three, sixty, fifty three. He should actually have a spear. Um, he can have a sword or a flail. Um, this guy is a flail, bro. Sorry, not this guy. This guy's a flail, bro. Um, yeah, like all of a sudden we're in the game, right? Like we can actually fight the fights we want to fight now. And then it's just the, the other thing that feels really good is the cascading upgrade thing that happens. You know what I mean? Where like, as you start getting gear for one guy, the hand-me-downs make the other guy, the guy, the guys next to him better. You know what I mean? These are better. At one point better in um, fatigue, so I'm gonna min max. But yeah, that that's just great. This guy's also like throwing we weapon ready, right? That's that's very good. All right. Gonna have to fix resolve on this guy though, at some point. This is his dodge level. Last resolve roll. Oh, God, skull maces. Oh man, when you get those, it's just, it's, it's so good. We'll get there, chat, we'll get there. Um, Is everybody else properly equipped? He needs a spear forever and always. Um, this guy is approaching sword range, but my swords are trash right now. Wow, that that was a great fight. And we still get paid. Oh, and we still get contract loot off of that too. Oh, what a fight. Hitting Nimmo plus perks has a similar feel to this game. That's true. All right, we're, we're in there now. That's a cheap caravan hand with gear already. Um, what's our, our pricing here is like fine. I'm gonna roll in that caravan hand. Oh, oh my God. Um, Oh, wow. Wowzers. <laughs> Wowzers. What's what is that icon right of the mood one? Um, this is an EHP calculator. It's a, a mod that does the math for you for effective HP. Um, so you don't have to calculate it. It takes into account nimble, battle forged, all that stuff. I used to hand jam all this stuff and it was miserable, especially when I was doing like super sexy stuff like uh, like nimble forged. Right. Um, and so this helps with that. So I don't have to hand jam it with a calculator. I'll do it without the mod. Like I'll pull up my calculator and like crunch the numbers. Um, and no MDEF and stuff, right? Yeah. 
Like it doesn't do anything for an MDAV. It's just, this is their effective HP pool armor health perks. All right, we can sell now. 16 is like, it's probably 17. This shield is like 90 something. Just quality of life mods, yup. I'm gonna keep a 40 hat. We're, we're out of this tier of armor now. Um, what are tools here? 215, snap, <laughs> snap click. Food is dirt cheap here too, right? Food is very cheap as well right now. I don't wanna have to think about food for a little bit. Just making an arbitrary vote. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take into account MDEF, which is like the big fault, right? Because it's like, oh, we said we were going to start raiding too, huh? Let's go this way. Are we going to raid up here? Like now th that fight kind of, that fight makes me feel less desperate to raid. That fight, that fight, like before I was like, man, we got to, we got to get something going. But now I'm like, eh, I don't know. We could also <laughs> raid the people we are making friends with. Um, and play the north part of the map. Um, do I have a hunter's cabin up here? Because that makes a pretty big difference too. I don't think so. I don't think I don't think I'm I'm not in, as inclined to raid. Right? Where am I at? I'm right there. Yeah, the damage calculation formula is is quite has quite a few steps. Find the thing, I'll do it. <sighs> to the west. And of course, if we if we think we can fight it, we'll fight it. I don't I don't think that there's I don't think the mod the arrow range of the mod is that high. Like Yeah, that's that's like out of control. So I will talk about one mod that I use that is questionable. Um so I use a mod that shows what's in the the gray buildings. Now, I can literally just go into the building and retreat and check anything anytime I feel like. There are no fights in any of the gray buildings that have dogs, not one, not a single fight in any of these buildings that have dogs. So you can always check the building and retreat. I'm explaining it. You can always check the building and retreat. And you go, well, you're retreating. You're losing five renown every time you retreat. That is true. I also don't spam renown by selling my banner selling my sergeant sash and and spamming the um the have a guy with rally event plus it's bad content right like that's like okay i can check these and run but i walk in and i run i also can't see it, it it's treated like a normal camp so I don't like, I can't be standing way over here and see what's in it, right? So it's treated like a normal camp. I think it's bad content if I'm just checking stuff and retreating, but some people may have a problem with it. Britt, you're my guy, but if you have a problem with it, sorry. That's my one disclaimer, but the the five the five renown you lose from retreating 
I have a billion other ways to make a thousand renown that I don't use because, and they're within the spectrum of the game, but that's cheatier, in my opinion. Planes. Um, the poachers give you the ability to always get a. Uh, is it poachers that give you the ability to always get a scouting report? East, where where we're at now. So it's like right here. Is that it? That's not it. That's a Necro and Gangers. How do I feel about a Necro and Gangers? It's probably fine for us. It's a lot of armored. We have 10. I think I'll wait till I have 12. Fallen Heroes. The early Fallen Hero plus stuff is a bit scary. Also, this is Goblin Country. Ugh. That's horrendous. That really makes me want to raid this part of the map now. later in the game. Um, it's not if you train them and you use XP pots. And you make sure that they can get killed. Um, so I don't recruit a lot of highborn. Um, in general, I don't. No, you just check the southern towns. Like you take student on them, you use a training hall and you like just do that. OK, we're going to start raiding We're something's going to get raided. <laughs> That's five from Bitterfield. Um, this is this faction that's friendly with us, right? So this is like a little like four three town faction. They don't have hunter's cabins, so I'm not like losing anything. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start raiding this. Right now. I haven't heard my theme song in a long time. Feels good to be back home. isn't your spot this is his spot
<laughs> we didn't get the arming sword. Oh, oh. All right, cool. That's fine. We're we're the bad guys now, chat. Um, we're gonna jack that red faction up too. Um, Dornthal is a town I can hit too. So I need to remember that. But yeah, there's like no patrols in this map, so we're going to take advantage of that. And raid. Southern leaders, if you're on expert, you want to find leaders. Buying armor town is so expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about daggering leaders. Three days north, of course. We're going to decline this because we're raiding that faction now. So I don't want to, I don't want to walk through hostile territory now. Where are you from? Footman and Billman. Can we kill Footman now, guys? We can definitely kill Billman. We probably can't kill Footman yet. Cheap tools, let's go. What's our paper day? All right, we're gonna raid for a little bit. See who we got. Got a free bro. He is unusable. I don't even wanna pay him. I just got a level off of that caravan fight. This is his dodge level. Shield comes off. All right. Let's go find some wagons to hit. Help us scale a little bit. I also find that when I'm hunting wagons, I tend to find a lot of brigands too. But let's let's take advantage of the fact that we just don't have um, raiders on our map, right? Where are you from? Almost that. That's a friendly town. A town that will remain friendly. If they stop in this town, they're going to become hostile and we can fight them. Oh, they didn't stop. This is the same caravan from Himmelstadt. Like, look at how far that caravan made it with, like, no problems. You know what I mean? Pay, our pay is low enough that we can afford to like hang out a little bit looking for targets what are you you look like a wagon are you the same wagon from Himmelstadt if so I'm gonna be like oh my god really bro oh okay I'm gonna fight this in easy woods We don't use throwing ammo in these fights.
Yeah. Trade goods, XP, stuff. How many red faction towns are there in the map? There are plenty. I probably need to get back down to this intersection though, because I'm missing quite a few of the wagons doing it that way. Like being this far up, I'm missing these two towns because they come through this road too. So I should probably be playing down here and waiting for stuff to come to me. What are you that I'm following? Oh, you, that's the footprints walking the other way. Where are you from? Hammered in Hammerstein, Hammered in Ellsberg. No. Mm -mm. Something fought something down here. Brigands. Marksman Raiders. It's daytime. I just need to be... I probably just need to be aggressive, but I'm going to take this fight because I need it. Wow. Marksman on high ground. They just casually gave them high ground like that. That's what's up. He doesn't have a pocket shield either. That's awkward. Start putting pressure on the archers on the backside. Ow. Archers get away, how how much do I care? Not that much. That said, XP is XP. I never catch the archers from this position, right? Oh, I guess I do. Huh. Neat. And armor set. Okay. Just 
pretty much done. He would have an axe, of all things. Okay. Levels, gear, tier two spear. Seems great. This is his dodge level. I can get his last resolve roll done. That seems good. This guy. Oh, God. This guy's just bad. Um, and then this guy can't roll defense to save his life. That's fine. Okay. This might be a go to Southern cities and um, like go Southern cities and recruit range nomads kind of fight, kind of a uh, run. Cause we don't, we just don't have the hunters. city where we can sell stuff down here. Don't have the banner. Just looking for trying to see what we can see out here. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Who knows? Maybe Barb Country is like like on and popping right now, and I just need to go north. So I think we'll like sell, re-up, and push north because there's just like nothing. Like there's nothing going on down here. You know what I mean? That seems to be the best course of action. Because that's like our normal behavior looking for fights. Like we start raiding, we like are checking fog. Helfenstein. Yeah, that's friendly. This is follow the tracks. We'll take it and we'll hire something. Monks don't have the best roll range for combat. I guess we're rolling on an apprentice here. Let's sell first. Only time bows are useful is when you're saving throwing ammo. Okay. We can sell. I'm probably done with the crossbow. Don't need this anymore. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. 
definitely don't need any more spears. We're gonna hang on to a couple of these shields in case we run into something awkward. All right, let's follow these tracks. Oh, they, they're jetting, guys. Alright, let's see what we got. I want to see how they line up first. Okay. We are going to be a little greedy here, like a, a tick, a smidge greedy, if you will. I will try to, may not be able to. Wow. Wow. Well, greed gets punished. That's the uh, moral of that story. Okay. This guy just won't crack. Okay. Um, you're done. Ow. Ow. Okay. That guy's body armor is untouched. All 
All right. How do we do? Uh, four armors, two sets of throwing weapons, another tier three flail, tier two spear, two helms. Seems good to me. Let's upgrade these guys out of 90 mil. Let's upgrade his weapon. Let's upgrade his weapon. Start upgrading helms. Okay, that went pretty well in my opinion. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, these rolls, these rolls guys. This is quick hands for him. His resolve is terrible too. All right, this is fine. Man, they sprinted from us, huh? So we need to get a banner up and running. That's a thing. That guy might, this guy might just be a temporary banner for us. Hey, how's everything going? Uh, pretty, pretty well. Like we got a, we have a run off the ground here. Um, trying to uh, find a banner now. Thank you, thank you. Um, happy to see me streaming. Hey, I'm happy to have you here, man. I appreciate it. Um, this guy has no resolve stars, right? Um, he's a he's a great hybrid. Like he he definitely hits where he needs to hit on range, and then he gets. This is eighty, like before gifted. This is a great range, bro. <laughs> That's funny. I was hesitant to roll on the monk there, because I was looking for um. Because I like want more range units. And that just kind of worked out, I guess. Um, we still need somebody to hold the flagpole. This miner could could do it temporarily. Like this guy could be a bad banner for us. We haven't been leveling resolve, but like he had a really high resolve roll. So like we could just use him as a temporary one which seems fine to me. Um, let's just get the monk something. 
Like this guy never does anything until we love. Like he needs levels to be able to do anything. But that works. Okay. Um, this guy. This guy is gonna be. This guy is gonna be in our camps, day two hundred. And be good. Neither. Um, I give them a chosen axe. <laughs> um, they're never not throwing. Yeah, the monk of it's are good. They're never not throwing. The only time they're using a melee weapon is when something gets on them from the from the back line. So like if a if a orc warrior pushes in and I wasn't able to control with positioning, then that orc warrior eats a chosen axe to the face. Um, they'll, they'll, in Monolith, they'll run um, noble swords, and they have nets, right? So you net the Necro Savant, and then you switch to your, you quick cancel your noble sword, and you chew them up with your noble sword. So, All right, let's sell what we don't need. And we're like fine, Not on, we're not fine on food. Prices are so high here. I like how we bought all those armors so that we'd be able to fight raiders, and then we immediately didn't need the armors anymore. Like, almost instantly. Cargo delivery. Yep, flagellants do that. And then we're looking for, we're still hitting caravans. We're gonna go north and start fighting barbarians pretty quick here. Is what I think we're about to do. Also, where is this quest taking me? Oh, over there. Yeah, we're about to go north and start fighting barbarians pretty quick. They still have good harvest here. They do not. They have the opposite of good harvest. Or was it this town up here? I have a minute before the, you actually don't, you don't have to buy food as long as you get food before the midday tick. So, cultist professional. We said we needed a banner, right? How are there no cultists and there's a cultist procession? Soft. The food is actually more expensive here than it was at the other place. It's fine. We'll buy enough to to get by. So this is a scripted ambush spot right here, and it's being fed by this right here. So when we come through here, there should also be raiders. Also, we can take that camp at night, right? Undead. What? What? Oof. Brigands, y'all have fun with those savants. What? Why am I getting... Where, where are all these undead coming from? Oh, this is an undead camp. Got it. But that doesn't explain the... um. That doesn't explain the necro savants. That doesn't explain the necro savants at all. Yeah, holy crap. There's just no way. 
There's absolutely no way. This is... If we had the banner, we could do it. Like, no problem. It's an easy fight, but we can't... Like, the guys... And we also have a bunch of low resolve, like, plebs. So the guys, like, shreds us, unfortunately. Feels bad. Oh, I can't go the way I came. Oh, and I need food. Cause so there's a increased food cost to walking over mountains. Unfortunately. There's a leader here, raider, marksman. So we're gonna dagger us a leader here and get some good gear. We're going at night because we have to deal with the um, the marksman. How do I feel about the step swing here? Like this thing's pretty dangerous. Leader's also pretty dangerous. But we're probably able to blow that guy up with tier three flails. I have, I have, I made two amazing hybrids and gave them expo mastery and polo mastery to use sword lances and guns. I could build, I could link a build if it, if, it, if anyone's curious. Um, I'm not into sword lances, but if anybody wants it, that's cool. Like, and sword lances deal damage. It's just, they don't deal damage to ancient dead, which is the big fight at the end, so. Oh, for the guitar hybrid. All right, let's see how they move. Marksman at night, nighttime debuff, marksman don't care. Marksman's like, I, I got this. Kobe. <sighs> Just trying to play around this weapon. Like maybe it's better to let it swing on me once, I don't know. He's not even wearing real armor. That's unfortunate. Does this guy have dodge yet? He does.
getting getting tanked by a leader here is is absolutely not ideal. We're probably gonna take a death down here, but that's that's like fine. Okay. Shh, come on. Get those. You gotta get those. So right now we're looking at two deaths this fight. Just like actual... Um, who's up? His turn's done. His turn's done. That helps. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I mean, the guy's on the edge with the shield, so he's, he's not one of our rock stars. But I don't like guys dying for no reason. You know what I mean? So if we can avoid the death, we're going to avoid it. I wish Nightback, because Nightback doesn't stagger, right, chat? Also, the axe did not drop. I, I would have been perfectly happy with the tier three fighting axe right now, and it just didn't drop. Uh, getting out of here with no losses is, is pretty pretty dang good too, though. Like, that that's pretty good too. Hooray, we got a 150 home, hooray. I'm, I'm not I'm not happy about a 150 helm. I, I would have much preferred the weapon. All right, so from here, from here I'm looking at, uh, let's see. This is his gifted level. Yeah, we're just hurting for fights, but that's okay. Just work through it. It's coming along. Um, another helm is nice. These guys over here. I, I, I mean, we use the one for the helm, right? Or do we sell it? We we probably sell it. <laughs> to to be honest. Um. This looks fine. What are we doing here? It looks something like this. And this guy's just like a bad, a very bad tank, right? So we shield spec him next level and go from there. Seems, that sounds reasonable. You know what I mean?
Um, that hits the ambition. It's great. So we can pivot and make this guy a temporary banner if we want to. Um, that seems wasteful. Let's walk through here and hopefully the necrosophants aren't here. Um, we ended up taking, uh, I, I didn't realize who he was and we ended up kind of messing up his perks a little bit. Um, we ended up taking, like I, I had put him on the front line and I forgot who he was and I started leveling, leveling him like a dodge quick hands bro. So he's missed like a bunch of resolve levels and we weren't leveling rat and stuff. It's fine. You're benched. You're benched. Um, I needed a frontliner for the moment. Like, do you remember when I put him on the front line, what was going on? Uh, that's an arming sword for us. I just wait. Okay. Britt, do you remember what happened? We only had six guys. He was in the back line with this, with this weapon here. And we only had three people who could hit stuff. And the other two had sub 40, sub 50 mat. And one of the three in front got hurt. I intended to move him up for one fight. And I forgot that I had him up there. But thank you. I, I understand the premise of putting guys on the back line to level them. Oh, he's got throwing axes. That's interesting. They always mess me up when they do that, when it's like three of them.
Yeah, that happens. Yeah, these uh, one-handed axes are just so, so such such a dangerous weapon early game. But the the double head shots off the one-handed axe was like, like just a death sentence. But it's fine. We made a lot of money off of that though. And remember, we were buying ninety gold, like ninety gold bros, like. Yeah, it's it's absolutely insane if they connect. Hey, we just made a whole bunch of money. Um, thank you, Thief. Thief, there's there's some good, really good Thief events. There's also some some like a couple of terrible ones. There's a, there's also a couple of Thief events that are just like why why is this happening? All right, we're gonna sell and then push up north into uh Barb Country. Also. Arming sword time, right? Um, easy arming sword. This is all still fine. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Flanstilla Fashion. Um, I don't know. Um, I like hitting stuff. <laughs> uh, 62 is like, I have two flails already. One guy's with above 70 mat. This guy is a little, a little concerning. Um, yeah, like, I am much more prone to, um, like, I like having some amount of flails. ATB always try bra brawlers. Oh yeah, I see it. I see them. Um, I also see a cheap caravan hand as well. Um, I mean, it's fine. Just, just a fine early game, bro. Oh, we actually have better armor for him too, huh? Higher cheap caravan hand as well. Uh, 42, two stars. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the hybrid club. Um, thank you for, for coming. Thank you for your attendance. But has a bad event. I I don't hire very many rat catchers. 
So I don't know their events by heart. Like, what's the rat catcher event that you're talking about? Um, okay. So, like, we have three range bars in the oven. That's, like, more than good enough. We have a bunch of money in the bank. Um, this looks pretty good. Makes guys sick. That sounds awful. That sounds extremely, extremely bad. What's our sell price here? 17? I'm good with that. Um, I have guys getting dodge now. Alright, so now... Yeah, and the, and they're nets with legs, right? We, I, I agree with you on that, for sure. All right, so let's look at what we actually have here. This is a Dodge Quick Hands Bro. This is a Dodge Quick Hands Bro. Very reasonable quality. Um, this is a Dodge Quick Hands Bro. He's asthmatic, but we can patch fatigue. It's not a big deal. Um, this guy, um, we're probably gonna use him as a fodder tank on the edge. This guy is 100% fodder, right? Bad nimble tank. Uh, and if we're gonna do that, let's let's center line him, right? Something like that. Um, also, we have a butter knife on somebody who doesn't need a butter knife, right? This guy has dodge already, so he doesn't need this. One of these guys can get a real dagger. Ugh. Um, and also, we put the—I guess we put the higher damage spear here. That, prob that should probably be a double grip flail, right? Like, this should probably just be a double grip flail until we get something better. And then we do something like that, right? Cool. So we have money. Um, did I do that right? I should see three flails. I do. Okay. Uh, we're done with spears for a while. Done with these bucklers. Um, I don't need... I'll keep one of these. I'll keep one of these. Um, I actually can sell these axes. I'm about to go fight barbarians. I will get more. Caravan, caravan, where? Computer field. That place is hostile to us. All the tracks. Um, we're a little dinged up, right? One or two days, one or three days. Um, let's... Let's caravan it. We're going to a town that ho that's hostile to us, but they're too small to spawn uh, noble armies. Um, what do we want to do? Um, we're like a ways off from a real banner, huh? I guess we could circle back on that other thrower banner. That's what we're going to do. All right? Like, we'll... Or we'll make this guy a bad temporary banner. We'll probably do that. That's probably fine. 
just so we can fight undead. Because he's got 52 resolve, a star. Like, this is fine. Plus, he's already holding the flagpole. It's like actually less work for me. There are a lot of patrols on this road. Maybe that's why I'm not seeing, uh, well, I know that's why I'm not seeing brigands, but we're we're strong enough for, uh, for the North now. So we'll start working out this way. Ancestral remains northeast. If you're ever uh, doing the find the thing quest, there is a trick. You can exit out of the game and come back in, and you'll get the um, you'll get the proc with the person who tells you where the location is. Um, I don't use that trick, but it is a way to like just find the location instantly. There is a quest up there. I'm just I'm just seeing seeing what there is, seeing what's to see. Um, hello. This is an ultra cheap wild man. Oh my God. What? What? I've never seen a wild man for 200. What? Um, okay. Yeah. Um, that's 85, that's 85 before, so it's 85 before, um, that's 85 before gifted. So he, it's, that's 88. Like, it's early game. So we keep this guy. He's pushing 90 something mat in vet levels. Like, remember, I have the entire rest of the game to level him. It's like day 20. Like, he's, he's a great early game, bro. I'm not looking for a god. Like I'm looking for an early game, bro. Clumsy is removable, but I wouldn't use I wouldn't use uh, water on it. But like, he costs the same as a brawler. He's gonna like. He doesn't have to level HP. He doesn't have to level resolve. Like, yeah, this guy's this guy's fine. I want to start working on him right away. Like, who's my worst bro? Probably this guy. This brawler is probably our worst bro right now. Actually, no. You know who our worst bro is? This imposter tank is our worst bro. Right? Like, this guy's our worst bro. Okay, when this guy dies for value, we'll start leveling this guy. Uh, 
Um, we're gonna do a quick sweep around here. That also gives me a guy with a couple levels on him, so he's not like super foddery, but I can throw him into a really bad situation and hope he dies so I can start training somebody else. Also, that was a 200 gold. <laughs> There's no universe where you don't roll on that guy, right? He's a, a 200, um, a 200 gold wild man. Like, come on, chat. I'm obligated to roll on that guy for science. Uh, 228 tools. Food is super high here, but that's fine. What do they have for recruits here? Um, that's a witch hunter. So there's our there's our actual banner, right? So if we do that, we don't have to like mess this guy up. We just need a little bit more gold. Hashtag store of my life. But we, we roll in that witch hunter. That's an expensive witch hunter though. Like to be fair, that's a very expensive witch hunter. So I don't know. But that solves a problem that we have right now. I also don't like, like at this point we have bros, like we need to be jamming levels and we need to go get out and fight camps. What am I fighting here? Eight ancient dead. Um, this is fine unless they're savants, right? Like with our weapons and loadout and stuff, this is fine. Like these are oxes, not um these are oxes, not uh legionaries, so Yeah, this is fine. I don't have Pathfinder. I don't even think they make it to us. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to intern there. But that's fine. Mistakes happen. Let's move help down this way.
Oh, 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 come on. Come on. 3 HP Andy? Really? 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 There's quite a few more coming south than I thought were gonna come south. That hurts. I was hoping they would kill this guy so we could start training that, uh... Like, blue... Just remember, blue shield is our fodder, bro, right? Easy fight. Um, this is actually worth a lot of money, right? Like, this stuff sells for a lot. So there's a real question of whether or not we're actually going to roll in that witch hunter. Probably not. What other towns are there up here? Is that a citadel or a town? That's a town. It's a forest town. Tundra town. Feels like whatever. There's a full-size city there. I think we head that way. The Witch Hunter is just too expensive. So... This guy, right? If we make him our, th I mean, I mean, he can't be a thrower banner. I mean, he's a temporary bro anyway, so like, I guess that's fine. But we we can't roll on a super expensive guy like that this early. All right, we're gonna take a quick quick look in the wilds. We're gonna start running at stuff now. We've reached that phase of the game. Not being able to do undead fights feels pretty bad, guys. That's like my chief complaint here. Really? They're upset about the food?
there's also a universe where there's hunters up here, which seems great. Again, you don't have to have a hunter's. Oh, there is a hunter's cabin here. Shoot. Let's go. Um, but there's no hunters. That is a very cheap retired soldier. Uh, but I shouldn't be looking at recruits right now. Cheap ammo somewhere. This is cheap ammo. This is very cheap ammo, actually. Okay, we can always come back and check. There's actually no contracts we can take over here, huh? So, what does the rest of our map look like? What is this? So, it looks like on this map, Everything's like clustered on one side. Interesting. I mean, it's cool. We'll, we'll work with it. We fight this. What we at? So we've reached the part of the game where we're running at camps. Feels good. Feels good, chat. And while the zombies move, I will be right back. like every, that's the only thing that's literally the only reason the only thing we waited on here's a question and maybe maybe Britt uh, you know this when you get a kill with a weapon like a blunt weapon to the head and you know there it's on the ground with a little smashed head does that count as a fatality will zombies still get up from that they didn't used to, but I'm not sure if they changed it or not. Well, I guess we can test it, right? We can test it now. If this zombie gets up, we know it doesn't work.
That spear wall was bad because I'm gonna act before the zombies do. Trying to get guys in play here. Yeah, I think it does work. Like the ones with the smashed heads are not getting up, which is huge, right? Because I thought you could only do that with cleavers. It's like relevant new information. The rest of the fight's done. Some of these will get hurt, still need to get back up. that guy. Thank you. 
I really don't want to go too deep. I don't. I don't want to go deep into the wilds with, with without the scout at least. Preferably the scout and the lookout. Oh, we found fights. Or better say the fights found us, huh? Jabs are a little horrifying, but... My next goal, um, retinue. Retinue, um, first card upgrade. No, I'm already, I'm already looking at camps. Like, I'm, I came up here because the north, it's usually pretty easy to find, um, barb camps. So I'm going to run it like tier one and tier two barb camps. But yeah, no, we're, we're running at camps now. Like... <laughs> yeah, Reaver camps. Um, we, we're not going to run it like a max scale tier three chosen camp. Reaver camps, yeah. Guys will die, but like a lot of these guys are plebs. And as long as I'm fighting for profit, as long as I'm making money and I'm not like mass losing like three or four guys a fight, I'm fine. But I'm, I'm basically looking for like tier one camps to fight right now. <gasps> before they scale, right? So a reaver camp now might be like two or three reavers and like five or six, five, you know, five, or what is it? Six to six to eight thralls, right? And I can fight that. Yeah, exactly. It's early in the game. The camps aren't going to be massive yet. Exactly. That's the other thing, too. Like, I would actually rather be fighting Reavers than fighting Marksmen uphill. Or even Marksmen on patrol, right? Like, like look at these patrols compared to, like, like a Brigand patrol that has Marksmen in it, right? Um, this guy's done. His armor is completely used. He's not injured because he has, like, 100 HP, this is fine.
Good question, by the way. That was a very good question. Yeah, my, my next objective is to start running at stuff. Um, get retinue. Get retinue, get, um, get money, get card upgrades. And then from there, start looking for better bros. We're not worried about it, right? Like, it's true, we can't. This guy, um, so these guys on the flanks here with the shields, right? We said that they weren't exactly rock stars. And so we're not, we're not hurt leveling him that way. Yeah, this is this is how this looks. Um, this is his dodge level. This guy can sit for a second. This guy comes up. Um, this is Pathfinder. Oh, this is a throw banner right here. For not not the most incredible one, but this will this will do. This will do fine. Uh, two stars, so he's rolling straight fours. So 70, 75 before gifted. Um, what's my min on a thrower banner? It, that's a little low. That is a little low. It's 75 before gifted. He'll get a bunch of vet levels. Nah, it'll be it'll be fine. So this guy can do the job. Let's get him a student. Let's label him. This guy will continue to go the dodge quick hands route. Then everything else, DQH, DQH, bad tank. This is a DQH for sure. And then he'll like get a few of like monk events where he gains faith and stuff. He'll be he'll be fine. Yeah. All right. So where they come from? Let's get this fight. Oh, they got my food. They got my food chat. But those footprints came from up here. I think they might have been sitting on this hill. 
but let's... Yeah, like, so to answer your question about, um, to answer your question about like, you know, are we running to camps? Like, there are tons of these little camps like this up in the tundra, like tons of them. Like once you're able to fight thralls, the tundra is, is extremely profitable. I saw the I saw the yellow shield and didn't realize who was selected. These little camps are just so profitable. nachos no i'm good is there a tier three in there there's not a tier three it's 21 nachos but there's not a tier three that's like a metric ton of experience huh if i were actually to do it this guy that's fine i i don't know about that That's an insane amount of nachos. The, the one problem I have is there are no quests topside, which is kind of a problem. This is a uh, thrall camp. That's fine. We'll just we'll just bust thrall camps.
Okay. We're gonna eat a round of attacks here because they're super high initiative, but. Like, that's a thousand gold. to be conscious of food here. I don't really want to go too deep into the wilds without uh, without retinue. But while we're up here, we're going to look for some like high value fights. We're going to look for a little bit of action. Check sell price here. Sell price is probably looks low. Maybe not. It is 16. 16 is fine. Stuff we need, ammo is cheap here. Oh, brought the wrong stack. That happens. Um, food is not cheap here. Food is very high here. Tools are reasonable. Like, we don't need to be rolling. We need to be running at stuff, saving money for uh, for dudes. So we'll probably cut back around this way and just walk by the mountain range. I don't want to go out into here yet. Again, just looking for Thrall, Reaver Camps. Uh, we don't have Rally yet. That hurts, because that's a, actually, no, this is fine. This is fightable. There are no guys here. Um, yeah, there's, there's no guys here. This is fine. Yeah, 12 is a very manageable number. I 
The Fallen Hero doesn't have a big scary two-hander. That's first round. Being, not having, um, not having, um, reach weapons yet feels pretty bad. They're gonna focus fire this guy, I guess. to keep that guy alive. This guy's done already, and he's bleeding. That guy's probably dead, but it's fine. We have more guys. Like, there's no way I end this combat before that guy bleeds out. I don't think I have a bandage on anybody, unfortunately. I should probably keep playing this forward because this like snow terrain is going to take me a while to get to this necro. These fights are much harder when you can't like mutually support your bros with reach weapons. We don't have the DPS for this fight. This is looking like it's going to be a wipe. This 
That's what it appears like to me. Is that our guy who has nine lives? That might be a guy who has nine lives. Nope, it's not. Yeah, this, that guy is super dead. Yeah, this guy's just done. Unfortunate. Um, let's hit this one. Well, goodness. Just trying to reduce the chance to hit. This guy dies if I come back here, but I would rather hit that guy die than this guy.
So that was his res on his own. And then once I drop him again, I need to make sure I'm standing on his corpse. Like somebody for the rest of the fight is assigned to stand on that guy's corpse. So that he doesn't get rezzed again. That happened. How am I on arrows? Six. Four. Feels bad. He's done. That's fine. Okay. Somebody's literally assigned to stand on his corpse for the rest of the fight. No, the Necro cannot raise with someone on the corpse. They can still self-raise. Like the raise that they get just because they're zombies, the, the one freebie, they can still do that one by themselves. But they, they cannot self-raise. Or the, the Necro can't raise them with someone standing on them. I feel like they're getting up with more HP. Like, I know they're not, but it feels that way. Oh no, they, that one got up. That's my guy. That's why. That's why it feels like he has so much. I was like, man. Like, someone has to stand on this fallen hero, too. That's the, that's the like, awful part. to stand here. I just have to stop the reses, like by any means necessary. Okay, so now I have to fight my own guy, and if I lose the noble sword, I'm gonna be super pissed. All right, um, 
Let's get help down to deal with the Necro. Let's get help down to get my Archer out. But yeah. Oh, my own guy's probably gonna get up again too. That's a problem too, right? Yeah, let's get somebody here to help with this. Get somebody back here. Thank you. Now stay down. And the Noble Sword is like terror bad for us, right? Man, there better be a famed in this camp. Sheesh. much out of arrows too. Got three. Noble sword back, or not noble sword? Sorry, my uh, my um, other sword back. I'm gonna put it in my bag in case he decides to get back up. Good lord. Um, don't care, right? This guy, we really don't care. This guy hurts a little bit. Like, that feels a little bad. Um. So, if this guy comes up. kind of need him to produce in fights, which is sad. <sighs> uh, so maybe he, he isn't a tank, doesn't go the tank route, right? This guy gets this here, gets this here. This is here. He 
gonna take fortify mine now. Rally on the next level. This is fine. Um, this is his quick hands level. This guy is on the struggle bus as well, but it's fine. This is his Pathfinder level. And then this looks something like this for the time being. That's fine. Also, yeah, all that's good. Okay. That hurts. Was that one of our better guys? No, right? We gave him, we gave that guy the sword because he was not one of the better guys, right? Yeah, that's, that's what we ended up doing. So I'm gonna stick with my first mine and do those camps quite a bit later, I think. That, that was most certainly a struggle. We'll cut over this mountain range. Walk and heal, take advantage of that. Nope. So I'm guessing we're cutting back down here. What is this? Beast hunt. Um, dogs probably. Dogs, nachos. For for a stack, I do it. Maybe I maybe I regret it, but we'll see. People have had time to recover. Let's see what I'm fighting and then we'll adjust weapons as needed. Ah, uh, spiders. So spiders, um, I'm actually going to switch off of these to swords. Switch off of this to a uh, mace. Um, everything in the back line is fine. We should be able to do this. This is a thousand gold and it's a beast hunt that we need. If I remember correctly, spiders get super messed up by backing two. 
because they literally run straight up to you. You have a turn to go off before everybody gets webbed. This first round is like super important for us. As long as we get kills here, we're fine. So we're attacking up and across or down and across? Probably down and across. There are still 19 spiders. You missed a lot of 80s that first turn. I felt pretty bad.
I'm amazed that there's still 18 of them. But also, we've missed, at this point, we've missed nine or so 80% attacks this fight. So, you know, that's a thing. Those are seventies, but still. Fodder at top probably dies here. If that's all we lose here, I'm like more than okay with that for a thousand gold. Okay. Whew, spider fight, man. There's always so many of them.
All right, cool. Wow, that one's still fighting. Was still fighting. Make sure that doesn't get away. How much XP do you guys think we got? That was not a lot of XP for how dangerous that fight was. Like, at all. Alright. <laughs> Guys getting Pathfinder now, which is great. Let's see. There's that, that. Um, he needs like a single resolve roll. This guy's like forever a spear boy, right? And then, is there someone else who's in flow range? No. Okay. Cool. I mean, 3K gold. We're like a little slow on retinue, but we can go ahead and get the lookout now. So our sell price here, 14. Sell price is not great. We do need a bro. There's like a massive power spike when these hit five, which is going to be pretty great. Oh, what's our contract? No, nope. absolutely not. I mean, we can, we can try it, right? We can check it. We can always cancel and I'll hire into it. Let's 
This guy is pretty terrible. I mean, that's about what we expect from a poacher. See what we're dealing with here. Um, it's on a hill. Do it at night. That's unfortunate. I guess we clean these up first. This is fine. They did bring us a mace, which is, is pretty good. Yeah. And some armor and an army sword. This is uh, it's not the worst though. It's not the worst uh, loot potential here, for sure. Probably want more help this way. Question mark. Wow. Fight them at night, they say. It's balanced, they say. I don't know how much of our ultimate plan gets delayed by taking this fight, but at least there's good loot here. He got a headshot at night from 
five tiles downhill. That is incredible. I'm just like, as a dev, who let this enemy at this tier have these weapons? Like, it's like so insanely frustrating. to produce loot. And then I just step out of range of that, right? Is like the plan moving forward. Okay. Okay, um, I mean, flails provided quite a bit there, right? Like just got stuff. Also, a a two-handed weapon. Um, love to see it.
um, at 74. Again, I don't know if I can use that two-handed weapon yet. Um, let's see, oh, this is his throwing mastery level. Just massive upgrades. This is his rally level. Huge for us. Cause that completes the ambition. Look at that. All right, so now. And bolts, there we go. Um, he has quick hands already. I should get arrows and run this for now. Um, and then let's, we're, we're gonna have to heal to some extent, which is unfortunate. Like I wanna check, I do wanna check and see what's in this camp, but. Like I guess I can walk and heal. So I can explore a little bit. Food is gonna be a thing soon. Like we have loot to sell. We're not we're not broke, fortunately, but um Yeah, I, I like a dozen men. That's fine. I can I can get that knocked out pretty reasonably. Uh, sell price is definitely reasonable here. That's fine. And then this guy needs a real knife. He also needs real armor. Let me get this 110 here. He needs a real hat. Okay. All oh, this looks great. So now, let's sell this. We don't need these anymore. Take a peek at recruits because we've seen some some crazy stuff. We've seen like the cheapest. We saw a two hundred gold wild man, and I've never seen that before. <laughs> like I've I've literally never seen that before. Um, food is high, of course, because everything's rated. You can also check what's in here. Um, thugs, marksmen, raiders. Thugs aren't a, aren't a problem. The marksmen are a huge problem, right? Well, we're almost full health. We go in at night.
from the highest point we can go in, right? I like to believe that affects the terrain spawn, but I don't know. So 12 on 12 isn't the worst thing I've seen. Um, it actually looks like they're on low ground, huh? They are on low ground. Wasn't expecting them to move forward. Was not expecting them to come up. AI upgrades chat. They're they're smarter than they used to be. Like, if they were really rolling 45s at night on those um, crossbows, that makes sense, right? Why are we having so much trouble? Love another arming sword that ah oh, that would be great. It's funny because marksmen early game are like horrifying, right? And then late game, they're, they're they feel like a penalty to their their enemy count, right? Because like they just can't hurt you. It's kind of funny.
slightly amazed at how much trouble we're having on this high ground up here. Okay. This guy's done. That's a good long shot to keep us out of trouble there. Now we just need to kill these things over here. And that'll be the fight. Okay. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Um, they just won't give us arming swords. 
It's like the third one that just didn't drop. The struggle. Another brigand stack there. This is a scripted ambush spot for sure. This guy is getting 30 on average, so 77. So this guy is like fast adaptation. Um, fast adaptation, throwing weapons ASAP. Okay, just farming Renown with the, the trash we got. There's gonna be a lot of upgrading of bros here soon. That I can assure you. All right. Yeah, not bad. Where are we on beast fights? We are probably two short. Wow. We're like three short. That's that hurts. So we're way short on beast fights. Um, but we are chaining renown pretty well. I think we keep um, exploring a little bit. Like while we heal, we can queue up targets for for later. It's also a lot of woods, so catching. A uh, fallen hero without a necro is pretty tempting. We're pretty scuffed up, but it's a thought. So you know that there's a little zombie shack there. Uh, and now we are professional. Like we already have professionals, so this one should insta-complete, right? The undead spawners are super active on this map. It's kind of crazy. Cool, just chain and renown. The scout is going to let us actually identify things that we can and want to fight. It's pretty great. Um, that's a legendary. That's watermill. I care not for watermill. Goose me one time, please. We're just exploring while we heal. Beasts, webnecks. How many webnecks? Because if it's not like a million, we'll fight it. Um, yeah, we we can burn down a camp. I want to see how many webnecks it is. There's Witch's Hut. Those are pretty big footprints. It's probably more than I want to deal with. It 
is probably the answer to that question. Uh, we need food. Let's walk down through, through here. We'll make the, we should make it before the next pay tick. Also, we're healthy. So let's go ahead and take this fight. Like literally anything but a, uh, a spear. And then when we get to town, this will be it for us for the night, I think. I don't have good throwing lanes here. I mean, confident is confident. I'm like, bro, the banner is literally standing behind you.
Okay. This all seems fine. It's literally one guy's chat. It's just like destroying us right now. Thank you. We get paid. We complete our ambition. With that, we hot footed back to town. And we make it before the tick for hunger. Right? Yep. We made it for before the tick for hunger too.
what did we say we we're gonna do with this guy? We said we we're gonna shield spec him and leave him on the flanks for a time being. Okay. So our sell price here at 19. <laughs> Paid. I'm sure somebody needs these hats somewhere. The others we don't need. Okay. This is a hunter. I, I do like maybe replacing this guy. Um, yeah, I mean, we're like in good shape. Like I like, I, I, I think we just need to get our beast hunts done and we're off to the races on this one, guys. Um, so we're stable. Um, we're stable, so now let's uh, do what we need to do to transition to the next stage of the game. So there's gonna be some bro quality improvements here pretty quick. Um, I just need to get these beast fights done, so I'll figure that out. But yeah, it's been good, guys. Uh, we have a, a live run here. Feeling pretty good about it. I'm not gonna make the mistake I made the other day and stream too long. And get sloppy um this is if this is your first time joining us thank you if you're joining us from another country i know there are a lot of uh european players that play this game and love it i know there are a lot of new console players um i'm happy to have you here thanks for hanging out with me if you came over with the raid thanks for for lurking um thank you guys it's been a lot of fun uh but we're we're getting her done here so thanks guys we will be back um and next time we're gonna we're gonna keep grinding yeah um next stream so i'm i uh, i'm gonna stream tomorrow you're you're working pretty hard on your transition from like early game to mid game right um so i i would definitely even if you can't just uh, catch the next stream uh I'll make sure I explain everything that I'm doing to transition. Um, hey, thank you too. Thank you for being here. Um, oh, I will. It's it's like early a.m. here. It's like 4 a.m. I'm in I'm in the states. I'm in the U.S. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, we will stream again soon, um, and we're gonna. So now that we're stable with Raider gear, um, where a lot of people mess up is they start really trying to roll on bros right now. Um, and that's not my priority. My priority is retinue, card upgrades, and then we're not going to roll on premium, premium, premium bros. We're probably going to roll on a set of mid game bros, um, like retired soldiers, things like that, that we can make fat newts, that type of thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be up, up in a couple hours, uh, working my day job too. <laughs> hey, it, it never stops, but I, I love playing this game. Um, and if I got to be up this late to have a community, I'll do it. <laughs> you know, thank you guys so much. Take care. <laughs>